Anybody hear me? Hello? Right for Koi's day. Okay, I think I'm live. <laughs> Thank you, Bonnie. Hello, Bonnie. This little piggy, Marina, Janet, Cynthia, Curly Girl, Girl, Nate, hello. Just Susie's thoughts. Hello. Happy Sunday, yeah. Abitza. <laughs> Hello, Katie. Abitza here. <laughs> yeah, Marina. <laughs> um, after a long time, um, I, I kind of missed the community. Hello, Amy. Hello, Diane. Um, I don't know, probably... Hello, Paula. Two years or one year. <laughs> I don't know. So I decided that I will do lives again, but not every Sunday. Um, it, I think that it will be first sun, Sunday. Hello, Linda. Um, Janet, I missed you all too. It was, you know, it was kind of community. We talked about everything almost every Sunday. But this time, oh, Raiko says the time um, swinging or whatever. Um, so I decided that probably, hello, Amade, hello, Doris. Um, first. Sunday a month, I think so. I get a little confused today with, because we switched to summertime and I don't know if you switched to, to summertime in States already. So I didn't know which time you in your time zone this will be. So I think that I will do 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time because this is the only time that I know how to convert our time too. Uh, I don't know if the, if it's 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time now in States or not. I don't know. Um, but uh, I hope that we will match in, in a way in this summertime and it will be 3 p.m. Okay. So... 3 p.m. should be. I, I used to do it 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but it is a little late for me. I'm more morning girl for painting. Uh, not I don't like to paint in the middle of the night. And it's 9 p.m. here now. So, hello, Mina. How are you? How is Santa Fe? <laughs> I hope that you all have a great time on Fab. Fluid Art Boutique ladies are ladies and a guy. They have a guy too, Johnny. Um, in Santa Fe, I hope that you all have a great time. And this year I will meet all these lovely people in August in Las Vegas. I will finally meet Mina. Uh, and all the others, and Karen, and Sarah, and Nate, and um, there will be 22 artists there. So uh, I'm so excited and nervous. Yeah, maybe next time, Mina. <laughs> if I will not... Uh, I'm still, you know, when I think of it, if I think about flying to States before I go to bed, I can't sleep. I, I will admit because it's just a lot. But Marina will be with me. So 
Uh, I hope that we will have amazing time on PoorCon. This is all that I wish. And I wish that I will meet a lot of you that are my community, my YouTube family, as I like to say, because, you know, some people, they are with me. Thank you. I hope that I will be okay. I will kind of, I decided that I will, because my flight is to Amsterdam first, it's an hour and almost two hours to Amsterdam. And then from Amsterdam, we fly directly to Las Vegas and then I will take a pill and I hope I will sleep from Amsterdam to, to Las Vegas. And I will just, Marina will wake me in Las Vegas. We are here. So I hope. Uh, Bonnie, I will be in Vegas uh, from August 3rd to August 10th. So seven days. I need a few days before before uh, PoorCon will start with lessons because I think that I will need to adjust on the, the time and everything and to swallow. Hello, Kelly. Um, to, 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 I don't know, uh, get the flight out of my head. This is my opinion. Maybe, maybe it will not be so bad. Yeah, Kim, me too. But for now, I think that I will be just, you know, like that on the plane. Um, I don't know. Um, so hopefully I will meet all of you two there too. Um, because it will be amazing event. I, I believe so for that everything that Fluid Art and um, company put a lot of uh, efforts to, to make this event really, really amazing, I think. I just have to survive the flight. This is just my opinion. <laughs> um, so enough of that. I will talk about PoorCon, you know, just to let you know, because I still see that some people don't understand, don't know where to, to register and everything. Yeah, Mina. Mina promised me that she will take care of me <laughs> in Vegas and I, I trust, trust her. So, good. Raiko said enough of your fears. Yeah, but fears are part of our life too, so that's how it is. Um, thank you, me too. Yeah, Patty, I hope so. So, um, enough talking. I just want to say hi after a long time because we didn't see, you didn't see me for a long time. So, I will just tell you just a little bit what I will do and then I will, I'm filming on my phone after, I was filming on with my camera, but uh, now I, I uh, changed my location where I pour, so uh, I don't have, my cable is not long enough to, to, to plug in my camera, so I'm on the phone. So, uh, Janie, I'm using, I will use today, I will show you some things that you can do with Vallejo Pearl Medium. This is something that I like to use. Uh, and um, last week I did this uh, fluorescent flower with uh, mixing some fluorescent paints into the pearl medium and I I saw that uh, everything that I mix in Vallejo pearl medium you see you see just paints that were mixed with Vallejo pearl medium and some black lacing on top because I used black and 
I decided that I will show you today how I mix that, that you will see the whole process. And I am using um, products that are available in states, not my pouring medium, but I'm still working on that pouring medium and I will not talk about ingredients a lot for now because um, um, Dina, I think that um, Vallejo Pearl Medium you can get in Blix. Doris, please correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, Doris from at DF Designs, she knows where to buy this magic ingredient. Thank you, Rebecca. Um, oh, sorry, Linda. Yeah, I would love to meet you too. Um, Blix or sometimes Amazon. Dori says that you can buy, but definitely you can buy that in States. Uh, it's not cheap, but you don't use it quite a lot. I will show you. So I will mix some piggies into it. Uh, but I'm looking for and do a flower maybe, but um, it's the same. If you do maybe when I will do a flower first and then if, if you thin down that um, mixture a little bit, you can do a pearl pour with it, you can do a cloud pour with it. I think that Willy use it too and I did some videos probably three years ago when I did some wandering ring pours and I created some cloud effect with pearl medium. So let's dive into it. Maybe you will have a little um, headache when I will switch my phone because you will see probably some lights and ceiling before I will manage to get this on the table. So let's switch this. Don't, don't look again. Don't. Bleh. I was just talking too much. So let's see. Oop. Oop, oop, oop. Oop, sorry guys. Okay, here is my table. I just hope that I will not press something. And now I have to adjust this a little bit. Oh, sorry. What is wrong? Kaj je narobe leto? Zasukajte na pravo, kaj je zdaj? Okay, oh, it was a challenge. No, this is not good. Mm -hmm. Don't look at my messy floor. I'm a messy painter. Have to switch it like that. No. I will just put a spinner on, on the table that I will see. <laughs> If I am in frame, I'm just not used to this phone anymore. Okie doke. As na glavo barjena? Obviously, I'm in the wrong direction, but it should be okay. Let's see if this will work, shall we? Okay, I'm not technically good at this. Marina, where are you? Oh, sorry guys, but I promise that I will get a cable long enough to not have this stress. Ooh. So, 
Vallejo Pearl Medium. And uh, I want to ask you about the color combination. What should we use? I have quite some piggies here. I don't have all of them, but I have a lot of them. So which colors should we use? Up, 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 up. Any ideas to mix with Vallejo, of course, for the flower? Up. Sea glass, I love this one. Just to find it here. And so we have the first one. What to do, what to go with the sea glass. Sea glass, blues, purples, and greens. Uh, blues, I'm out of toffee. I have waterfall. Maybe these two would look nice together. Yeah, Carolyn. <laughs> uh, flamingo with these two. I love those. Uh, New piggies, flamingo, crescendo, and I'm obsessed with them. If you don't uh, know about those three little, maybe we should do one with those three new piggies. Unicorn, crescendo, and flamingo. What do you think? Because they are gorgeous. Should we do that? Like a solution, some. Should we do these three new ones? Yes, let's do it. <laughs> I, I've painted, I don't know how many paintings um, already, but those three new piggies are really amazing. So let's do that. But um, they will not show today you know we will not see the the color shifting stuff but i have a few paintings that i can show you how they but at the end i will not take my phone off the the tripod because i'm afraid um okay so how i mix them and it works with every color, you know, you can add every color to pearl medium and it will create some lacing. So I'm just eyeballing and I will just add this much of my pearl medium. And this is flamingo. This one is, oh, maybe I can do it like that, that you will imagine a little bit, just a second. I did all three of them separately, kind of blooms. So flamingo will be this one. Whoa. It's hard to show. It's green, turquoise pink I can't see pink here how should I so this is flamingo shifts like that and this one is unicorn shifts from blue to purple just amazing but it's so hard you know to show on camera okay and this is crescendo uh, this one is just amazing too it goes from kind of 
gold to 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 some kind of a rose gold to violet is just amazing so we will use these three hopefully that you can see the what they should look like when they will dry so oh i will add that much and just and be careful because you know you don't want to get your pigments into your lungs and it will dull, do, do, dull a little bit in this pearl medium but it came to life again when it's dry so I just mix this in you see it's kind of um, pastel looking and I'm using when I use pigments I use they don't have fluid art co anymore on the these stir sticks but I love them because you know they are flexible at the end and you can really scrape all the pigments and mix them in so you see how easy it goes okay and now i will add my pouring medium i will go slowly because i still as i said i still um, work on the mixture that it will be totally right i hope that i didn't add too much I'm so used to my pouring medium that sometimes I add just too much of this one because this one it's kind of one-to-one -one mixture but with my pouring medium it's not so let's see I hope that this will work with those pigments too hopefully And this is the consistency. It leaves a mound and kind of disappears in a second or two. And before I mix all of them, I will do a test because what if it will not work with those figures? And then I will be sad. So what I do for a test is, uh, before I do that, I mixed some with this pouring medium, the same as my piggies. This is just black. And I will add just a little bit of pearl mixture and a little bit of black on top. Up, up. and I will blow in the middle maybe you will not see and here they come that's how I check if it works like regardless to getting some lacing so it works we are good we can do other three, other two. And you basically can do, can add two, two paints, but it will be a little more pastel than, it, than if you would use them just without pearl medium. But if you would use them without pearl medium, it will not create lacing. Hello, Moose! This one dull, down, dull, 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 quite a bit. You see, it's totally pastel looking. But I, I believe that we will, when it will be dry, 
we will still see some color shifting. Do? Just a second, I will just... Tina? Kaj Tina sprašuje na vidni? Rajko, jaz ne vem, da je Tina na vidni. A? Ne vem, da je Tina na vidni. Aha. Uh, what is the composition of my pouring medium? I'm still working on it because I need to make this perfect till pour con. So it's still a little bit, but all the products that I'm using in my pouring medium, it's mixture of three products are available in states. This is all that I will say for now. Because it's not, I'm still trying to get it totally like my pouring medium and then I will definitely tell you, tell you all about it. This one is good too. And the unicorn, last one, and then we will do our flower. I can tell that there is some Floetrol, American Floetrol, some glue and some binder, but still working on ratios and everything else. I don't want to mislead you and tell you and it will not be, you know, totally good yet. So I will experiment and when I will feel comfortable enough, I will tell you. But I'm pretty sure that you can add just Floetrol to this pearl mixture and it will give you some nice results too. But for the flowers, I need some binder in it because with Floetrol just flowers just keep on growing and they lose their shape while drying so that's why I try to do something that it will work and you will be able to create as nice flowers as I do with my pouring medium and I'm pretty close you see they are a little pastely looking with this pearl but I'm pretty sure that they will dry color shifty I use neon piggies fluorescent piggies for that flower and they dried like they were without pearl almost so it should be okay Let me try those two, if they work, if they lace. Because sometimes, you know, some paints lace, sometimes they don't. But with pearl medium, they should lace, no matter what you mix in. No matter if it's paint, pigments, opaque, transparent. Let's see. All good. And the crescendo. All good. And you don't need to, you know, throw away those um, I normally just do this and tear them apart, but I don't have coasters. I just have those cards and they are not as good as coasters. coasters. And sometimes you get something nice today, I didn't. But you get this three effect. 
Okay, but not talk about this today. So I will remove my jars and grab a canvas and put my gloves on. I'm already covered with paint, like always. <laughs> And uh, I will use just black and these three piggies. And then we will do some, I don't know, maybe cloud pour with those and see what will happen. This pearl medium and everything mixed with it reacts in the opposite way than cell activator in blooms. With this you have to have, maybe I can show you on the painting. You see here is kind of black, is kind of my, my cell activator and it did lacing on top of the paints that were mixed with pearl medium. So you have to put something on top and it should be uh, opaque and black and white works the best but because those are kind of um, dulled down with the pearl then because of the contrast i will do black but maybe maybe i will do all three of them and then black so i will just pour my base coat down. I'm a little confused because I didn't have life for so long. So don't be mad if I talk a little confused today. It's been a while since I poured life. And what I like to do is pour this back into the cup, you know, to save up as much paint as I can but it's important to have a nice even layer before you will put your flower shaped cup down because this is important for the shape of the petals that you will create when you will pour pour on top of the flower shaped cup. If your base coat is not even, your petals will not look nice. And if your petals will not look nice, when you will put your napkin on, they can't look nice if they were not. It's like a negative from the final flower, you know, you have to make sure that it is, your petals are okay. So now I have to grab my string to mark the center, grab my flower shaped cup, Ooh, I have dust on it. Okay. So I just go from corner to corner, even though that I mark the middle, my flower is almost never in the middle. I will just torch a little bit for the air bubbles. Put my cup down. Okay. Hopefully it's in the middle. So. I, as I said, I will do all three colors and then black. So let's do flamingo first. Thank you, Kathy. I didn't saw you even that you are here, Kathy. Sorry, I just can't follow <laughs> chat and pour and think what to talk and that I will not be too confused. So we'll just add 
those three and black for some lacing on top and to to get kind of you know this flower shaped look and I will do it once again and I like to rotate my canvas because I think that this unicorn is a little bit thicker than others, but should be okay. And crescendo. And black again. Just make sure I'm working on 8 by 8 inch canvas. So when, if you are starting with this technique, I hi highly recommend you to use eight by eight not go you know big before because it's hard for the napkin part Oop, drip and you don't want to add too many layers because otherwise your flower will not look nice you can always spin it out if you think that it's not big enough and you want a bigger want a bigger flower i will do one more layer and then i will stop okay I hope that this will work because I add all three colors and then black. Hope that I will get some lacing. But if we will not, we can try once more. <laughs> because with the fluorescent one, I did one layer and then black, one layer and then black, one layer of color and then black. But I think that it's a little too much black, so I decided today that I will not do as much, as many layers of black. Okay, so let's do some, I don't see any lacing, I hope that it will work. But it's live, so maybe we will not get the results that we want, but that's why we experiment. Remove this. Ooh, I have quite a lot of black in the middle. But with the napkin, we will drag those paints towards the middle and we will cover this black. Okay. Okie doke. So you see, important thing that you have your flower looking nice right now before you are adding, you are apply your paper napkin because if you have a nice looking something in the black here, looking flower now, it's highly possible that you will get a nice flower after the napkin but you never know it's a tricky part this part with napkin so i will just spray my napkin i have a messy table so i will have to spray it you don't want to put your napkin where the paint is i will just spray it with water to soften it down some people don't do that they like to work with the dry one but i like to work with the damp paper napkin and my paper napkin is about 14 by 14 inch so it's much bigger than my canvas and this gives me whoop, um, more possibility to do a nice flower because I'm so nervous that I almost screw it up and now I will 
touch this just a little bit, not too much. Okay, and I like to do that part without gloves because uh, so when you lift your napkin, try to be as close to the canvas as you can and try not to lift your napkin the, all the way to the pattern where your pattern is. You want to lift the pattern part at the end. So four corners, split this, this one. This is important, otherwise you can drag this and you will destroy the pattern underneath. This one, I have a lot, a lot of those tutorials, detailed ones, and of course I will teach this on poor con. What is going on? A lot of lacing, but the colors kind of I see I see them, but kind of looks a little weird. Hmm. I can see the color shift, but maybe those color shifts are not the best for this technique. I will just spin it a little bit. Okay. Uh -huh. So weird. So obviously those color shifts don't work as nice here, but definitely a lacing. And they it will grow, those cells will grow, but they look kind of weird. But I will definitely leave it to dry and see how it will look and you see i didn't use a lot of black but still looks a lot of black here i'm kind of curious what would happen if i use white should we do one with white too i have white mixed up too so we can try one with white too to see the difference i just have to remove my my paintings to... to have some space up yeah i mean that's it I just have to remove this one and I will do one with white because I want to see if those, but on the black background anyway, but white for my kind of lacing and see what will happen. Or should we try, I don't know, uh, cloud core or something with them. Tell in the comments. Should we do another flower with white kind of lacing or should we do a cloud pour or something and see what will happen? So weird. I have to clean my hand. Just a second. Then I will check the comments. Or maybe I can thin it down a little bit. I will just check the comments real quick. 
But you know, I'm afraid that on those, um, you know, those uh, ir color shifty paints, they look split cup straight pour. White, please. A flower with white. Cloud on white, cloud, 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 flower, flower. <laughs> flower on white. Cloud. Huh. Let's do a white flower and then we can do a cloud too. So let's do it on white with white. Let's do that. I will just do this to cover. And I will thin them down just a little bit because I think that they are a little, little thick. So I will add just a tiny bit of water. Just a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit. Better. And unicorn, I think that flamingo was was the okay, a little thinner than others. No. A drop, just a drop. Let's see our white. A little bit of water. This is just titanium white by Amsterdam mixed with that pouring medium. Okay. Or no, oh, a little more. You know, um, fluid art is kind is kind of science, and you can just experiment and thinner, thicker paints. Everything makes a difference. Okay, I will put gloves on before I will have all my hands covered with paint. Okay, well, let's do the white one. But I'm kind of afraid that it will not show much on, on white with white, but we will see. So let's add white base. That's why experiments are. And then we can do some cloud too, to see if we will get some effects. I have just pearl white mixed too, so maybe we can use that one too. Okay. I will not scrape this paint and everything because it will take too long. Just had something in, in there. Pop the air bubbles. Rajko, dash me tam? Ne, sam sama. I have to grab another another flower shaped cup. Let the one polichki so vidish. Druga polichka. Druga, druga. Just have to grab clean flower shaped cup and clean string. I want to do it quick, but you know, live videos are different. Oop. Okay, here is my cup. Okay, so let's do the same, exactly the same. Flamingo. Unicorn. Crescendo. 
I like to use those uh, color shift and iridescent paints with black because they they kind of show more but maybe it will be okay with white too we will see if you don't try you don't know this is my motto for a long time in acrylic pouring and in life this is not this was right because motto he, he he told me always because i used to be afraid of trying new things when I met him, I met him 18 years ago. And he used to t t tell me, he used to tell me, is this grammar right? I don't know. If you don't try, you don't know. And it, he's right. You have to try things, otherwise you don't know. And I like to say this in acrylic pouring, it's just, you know, just play with paint, try new things, try new mixtures, try whatever you think that maybe you, you, it can give you some nice results. I don't know how many layers I did with the black. Probably I should do one more. Yeah, I think that I did four rows, not layers, rows of everything. Yeah, Nate. <laughs> Good one. Uh, you know, um, people asked me probably even a year or half year ago, will you come to States? And I was... No, this was my answer right away. No, I'm afraid of flying. I will never come. But look at me now. I have my plane tickets booked. So if you don't try, you don't know. <laughs> Hopefully. My friend Linda Rodriguez used to say when we were talking about that I'm afraid of flying and she always said to me, you can fall down only once and hopefully this will not be the case. Okay, this one looks so, so gentle. I think that I put my flower on the table when where the table is not leveled. I hope that it will not run down of the canvas. Okay, torch, because I see a ton of air bubbles. And my messy table, I will have to spray my napkin again. And some other place where it's not so messy I can't wait to teach those flowers life I, I will admit that it's a kind of um, exciting to think even about and I will bring my paper napkins with me <laughs> and then we can find something that it's similar in states because some people comment that it's my napkin that do the, the trick but it's not have to put my gloves off again. Okay, the moment of truth. What will happen? And the lacing on the first one with the black that I look at right now, it's much different than it was before. So hopefully when it will dry, it will show. Ooh. I try to go fast and 
Hopefully I will not ruin it. Ooh, no. Don't think so. Or maybe maybe still too much white. I don't know. This one is so pastel looking. I don't know what will. Maybe those um, iridescent pigments are not the best for this technique. But we tried. Oh. See? I can't see the facing, <laughs> but it's so hard, you know, on camera with those. iridescent ones maybe I should till till uh, not till spin it out a little more let's add some white around here where is my palette knife that I used with white here it is I will spin it out a little more and I will show the dry results in some of my video this week when it will be dry that we will see what happened let's give it one more spin not too much because i don't want to be totally stretched out of the canvas i don't know i want to keep the shape but on the, the edges, I can see some of those piggies. A little weird, but let's put this aside and do a little kind of cloud pour and see what will happen. And then I will take you for a close-up for those, those um, two. We will see. I just have to uh, put it here aside. My cups are stuck together. Oh. But I'm just putting it on some cups that I have here. Okay. Manage to get it. Oh. Okay. Just grab a canvas or, or a cloud pour. Let me put more in water. Okay, so let me think about. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Raiko just look at the first one and he said that he she is already better. I will show you the close-up at the end. Uh, just a quick... But I will... Let's use some pearl white too. I have some pearl white mixed with this too. So, And I will use some black. Not a lot, and add some pearl white, and add some black again, and some flamingo. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. Me put some stotty me. I should have used some of other colors to not just those probably um, color shifty ones but I was kind of excited to see what will happen wait and then 
I will thin them down and try to do just a little, probably this is too big canvas for this cloud pour, so I will just add a little paint, so let's see what will happen. We are looking. I shouldn't have used as much of those pearls, probably, because they kind of take over now. I will just wet this canvas with black. It's not about the composition. It will not be, you know, just to see what will happen. Um, probably it would be, but I don't want to mix now other colors. I should have just one mixed with pearl and others don't mixed with pearl to get some better effect but now I did a mistake to add just all those pearls now it is what it is when I do this I see all the color shifty paints Maybe I should show you just with pearl white and black that you with, would see. Okay, and I will just remove my cups because I will spin it. But I will not get paint into the cups. just improvising right now <laughs> I want to move this a little bit towards the middle but don't want to ruin this I can see all the the pigments here in those lines, but probably you can't see this on camera. I will just add some black here on the corners and stop. Maybe I will do video this week with the proper cloud pour, not with all these colors, just one. And now I have black on all over my hands again. I want to 
stretch those lines that they will, will maybe be, be more visible when they will dry. I know that it looks probably black on camera, but it's not. <laughs> I will take my phone down and show you. I can't, you know, tilt a little bit that you would see maybe it's hard uh, just one thing that I want to try and then I will be over finished um, I just want to team those down and see if I can do a pearl pour with them and then I will stop just put this one aside <laughs> I wasn't here for so long that I wanted this and that but that's how it is with me when I start doing some things and I think that maybe I can try this and I have this a little bit of the paints left in the cup so I can just you know tint them down but first I have to I have to wash my hands real quick I will grab just a little 8 by 8 inch canvas just to see what will happen. So I will tin down all of them in, I hope that it, they will not break if I tin them down really to the consistency for the, the pearl pores that it should be quite watery. I don't know. Maybe I will break the binder out with that. I don't want to thin them down too much. I should have thinned them down more probably. Uh, if you look Sarah Taylor for her with when she do her pearl pores paints are really thin. I don't even know how to how thin they should be. Probably very thin. I'm not used to that thin consistency. Let's say that this is okay, and I will pour black on top. Again, maybe this is not, but with white, I don't think that it, we will get something. Let's see. I think that this is... I just washed my hands, you see. Uh, so I will just... Dump them like that. I don't know, maybe this is too much paint too. Let's play. And probably now I have to till this really quick. Oop. 
And I don't have enough, obviously. But you can already see some cells going on. More black, probably. As I said, I'm not an expert for pearl pores, but what I see, what other people do, you know, <laughs> and why. Thank you, Rebecca. I don't know, maybe this is too much and maybe my paint is too thick still. But let's see if we stretch this out. Uh, probably my paint is still too thick because when I see those other people do those pearl pores, paint is definitely thinner. Oop. And they are not all the same consistency. That's why those cells kind of look weird. But definitely you get the impression <laughs> if you know how to do pearl pores. I don't know a lot about pearl pores. Or maybe I should have more paint and less black, more other colors and less black. But you can see some reaction. And when I move this, I can see that probably my black is thicker than others. I don't know. I'm kind of tempted to go once more on top. Let's do that. Let's use this color up. And maybe this paints up, I should say. Look at my hands. I just wash them and here I am again. Just a second. I just have some black here left. And I will just thin it down a lot this time. Maybe too much. Sorry guys, I'm improvising. I don't see how thin it is. I will pour it into this little cup and see. I don't know, probably it's still too thick. Let's do that. Oop. So let's do this real quick. One, two, three. Four. Mm. <laughs> I can see. Probably now I have too much paint. What do you think for the pearl pores? Probably because I see reaction on the, but look at those kind of um, flowers that they are creating. Let's torch this. I just have <laughs> to, <laughs> Marina would be stressed out totally if she would have that kind of 
messy hands and probably some of you too I don't like those d -d 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 -d. Um, what can I do with those I try to I don't know because they look like worms and I don't like them Let's try to do some kind of... Hi! Thank you, AB! Some weird reactions, but definitely interesting ones. See? Okay, and now I will wash my hands and grab my phone to take you down that we see what we did. for your support so oop hopefully up okay so let's go here first Ooh. on camera you don't see nothing but I see in person this is the black one And I can already see some of the colors. The white one, it's like under, that she is under some, but you see on the, Okay, <laughs> and then to the cloud pour, kind of. I definitely shouldn't have used all the pearls for this cloud, but just that you can imagine. Yes, Nate, flower under frosted glass. That you can imagine. You see here? The color shift, but you can see that you can create some kind of kind of um, cloudy effect. I will do cloud pour with just one and <laughs> the last experiment. They are not pearls; they are flowers. But anyhow. Just play, you see, if you play sometimes just, you know, and then, then you see, okay, maybe I should go, yeah, jellyfish or popcorn, Donna, I agree. I always see flowers, I don't know. Brains. <laughs> but it's kind of interesting. So, um, this is how, how it looks, you know, when, when you play, try, just having fun, get messy and have a table like mine. <laughs> Probably some of you will not have it like that, but I'm a messy painter and I love it. So, 
thank you all for coming. It was really, really fun to be with you again and I hope that some of you will meet me in Vegas in life or see you on another uh, next one thank you bye